okay, I'm cool. I'm cool. Because the way the Seattle game was, that shit was freaking incredible. I mean, it was insane. There was over 20 calls on there. And I would rather see, we're just going to play the damn game. So, okay. But don't don't act like Eagle fans weren't partying in the streets because where I got that information was from you guys that were literally saying, oh, my God, we got this official. We're 7-0 and with him. And, oh, man, yeah, we're going to get all the calls. We got ass raped last week on all the calls, man. The officials suck. They suck. They screwed us up. So don't act like we are the only ones. For the first time all damn season, the officials didn't weren't in your back pocket picking up flags like when there was, you know, hands to the face and stuff. Literally tackling Jake Ferguson before even the ball even got there at the goal line. Oh, well, your team came up six inches short because you just suck. No, because you had the damn refs on your side. And then y'all had to be whiny little bitches. Oh, the referees, they were so unfair. And your damn center, Travis Kelsey, that mother humper, as a center, man, I'm sorry, you are a little punk-ass bitch talking about somebody jumping offside. Do you know what the hell goes on in the trenches? I've been on both sides of the trench, okay? Both sides. There's knees and body parts and things getting grabbed up in that puddle. And you know, had he not jumped offside, Jason Kelsey would have been jumping down his damn throat, man. So stop it. Stop it. Stop it, man. Don't come in here. No, no, you come in here being all Mr. Nice Guy. Look, you, we got a damn wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, yeah, Mark, I really like you. So, but your team is ass ass. See, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mark. Make me I piss. Want you to know, Mark, I want yes. you to know that you were heard. Okay. <laughs> you, were, you were heard. And I also want you to know that I'm not going to. I'm not going to completely disagree with you on those things. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I think that you, you, you <sighs> it, it, it's triggered, and it's and and you you were triggered, and you were justifiably triggered. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just happen to be on the receiving end of some of those. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I was actually going after Jason Kelsey, for Kelsey. Kelsey to sit there and complain about oh there should be a fine against that guy, dude. You know some of the shit you've done to people in there, like you're Mr. Clean, you know, like, like this is golf or something. Come on, man. Let's get get out of here with that shit. Come on, man. Listen, the Brother, fact that, the, you know what I mean? Wait, wait, I understand. And, and what I mean by that when I say, especially when you're triggered when it comes to referees is because look at what happened to you guys a couple of years ago when the referee had to grab the ball, set, reset it so that y'all can hike the ball, and then you end up losing that game. Remember when Dak was trying to, to, to ground the ball? Yeah. But the referee went in between. Yeah. Philly, Philly 500 teases, y'all. That's his clip. The brother screwed us. I, oh, I know that. I know that. Yeah. I, you yeah. know, I would like it if it was just me and Philly 500. Just, meet, just the two of us meet at midfield. Let's fight out for this game. <laughs> Oh, shit. oh, shout out to Kelly of the Super Chat. He said, I hope you're having some sort of bird tomorrow because we're eating some dirty bird. Oh, yeah. Oh. This, Love is, you, cowboy. this is the type of stuff that makes it so entertaining when Stephen A. Smith does the things that he does to y'all. When he says the things that he says about y'all. Because, like he said, don't worry, everybody. Don't worry. The Dallas Cowboys are allergic to success. Based okay, moving right along here. Okay, well, would somebody, God, please, Smith. somebody, I, I done gone off. Somebody else go Stephen off Stephen A. Here. Smith is a hypocrite. Stephen A. Smith is always talking about how bad the fans are. Then how come he's friends with the person that's causing us problems? Jerry and Stephen Jones. He's like, oh, those are my boys. But they're the ones that have held our success back. Exactly. That's what I don't understand about Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith is a hypocrite. Well, exactly. Stephen A. Smith, I remember that Super Bowl, man. He's hugging all over the Joneses. I caught that on clip. And it was right after that he stopped saying, oh, I love the Joneses and things. It's just the fans that I don't like. No. He loves the Cowboys organization because they've made him rich, bitch. I'm sorry. Without the oh, Dallas yeah. Cowboys and him, he's the one that started and opened up the floodgates on this whole thing where you get paid if you hate on the Dallas Cowboys. You just do. I know do. they get paid. I know you they know, get paid. This is what... This is what the thing that I don't understand, because you got to realize something, y'all. I'm an Eagles fan. Mm -hmm. So I've had to, 
I remember those years. A million times. <laughs> no, we, we, there's no doubt that we know the journey. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. When I had to, I, I had to live through this. You know what I'm saying? I had to live through y'all being the best uh, uh, O line. I, I I remember the years where you guys and not were, winning shit. You, you got matter of fact, the year we won the Super Bowl, you guys were the preseason favorites to go to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. That was I, I remember mm-hmm. that. And, and, I don't think and, so. And 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 you guys went. Nine oh no! Wait a minute. Hold it. We're here's the thing. No. We're always they they're always trash us in the off season and say we don't care about winning. But by the time the season gets here, they're going to say we're Super Bowl favorite. So that way, when we don't. I don't, I don't get it. That, that's the other part. But the year that we won the Super Bowl was the year you guys went nine and seven. But yeah, because you guys were last place in the division. You, you know, we won the division. We had a great year. Dak Prescott, you know, uh, you guys were was, was rookie of. I mean, uh, what uh, off, rookie offensive player of the year? You know, you had Zeke up there eating like crazy. Of course, you looked at the Cowboys and you're like, shit, they were 13-3. and three. They went toe-to-toe with Aaron Rodgers. You know, Dak Prescott had 304 yards and lost. Why wouldn't you be? The Eagles yeah. were in the toilet. I think you were in fourth place in the division. So, of course, you yeah. looked at it that way. Yeah. But that's yeah. the way it always yeah. is. Yeah. Just yeah. like yeah. people yeah. look and said, Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo, they're going to be a great team this year. And then the toilet. got suspended. Yeah. Hold on, though. Hold on. What Sorry. up, loyal? Okay. Julian, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Julian. And actually, I think 2017, that preseason, it was the Giants that were favored to go all the way, not us. Oh, yeah. remember they, oh that's right, because they, they beat us signed, twice. Uh, they yeah. Yeah. Receiver they signed, uh, Brandon Marshall, they mm-hmm. signed. Brandan Marshall. And they had, yes. and they had yeah. OBJ in his, yeah. at his peak. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, yeah. and I, right. I fell right. for that, and I'll admit. Yeah, Sims was, was saying that. They, I remember that, because Sims yeah, was saying that they were going to be Super Bowl favorites. Yep. And the year after they won the Super Bowl, that was the year Dak got hurt, ain't it? When he broke his the, foot, he broke his his, his uh, uh, that was a con that was mm-hmm. 2018. Mm-hmm. 2018. Yeah, that was 28. Yeah, that was 2018. That was his contract. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna front. Let me, let me say this to you, right? I was pissed off. I was pissed off when Dak broke his ankle because I really wanted to see that black man get paid. Mm-hmm. I thought he's. I, I I think that Dak. Got paid. Got, it was he, 2020 when his ankle got broken. 2020. Okay, I, th- I I I thought I think that Dak Prescott is an incredible quarterback. I don't think he's I don't think he's uh, properly appreciated. You understand know what I'm saying? And what I mean by properly appreciated, I'm talking about from an organizational standpoint. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Things have it seems like historically things have been somewhat off. Either Dak was playing at a really high level and the defense hadn't caught up yet. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or the defense was playing really, really well, and the offense wasn't in sync like it needed to be. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. Uh, Talent at the quarterback position, in my opinion, has never been an issue as long as Dak has been in the league. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I do think that Dak is an elite quarterback. I'm happy because we got us one, too. You you see what I'm saying? Particularly having recovered from Carson Wentz. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, is that I was happy when we drafted Jalen Hurts only because I had just learned that lesson on how important a backup QB was coming off of winning the Super Bowl with Nick Foles. So I understood. So for most Eagles fans who are backup QB was a very important thing because we learned that lesson Mm -hmm. on how we got the Super Bowl. And it wasn't the guy we had thought would be the chosen one. And we had the same thing because I don't think Jerry Jones had it planned for Dak to be the starting quarterback. Oh, he had not. Romo got hurt. He had Romo. (laughs) Romo was his his plan for him. But then once Romo got hurt, Dak came in and he balled out. No, remember, remember, let's go back to the draft. Okay, you already had Tony Romo as a starter and, you know, and and everything was hunky-dory and stuff coming back. They wanted Paxton Lynch and Connor Cook. Basically, it was like, okay, we're in the fourth round. We need a camp body. Let's just draft a guy. They had no intention or thinking that foresight that Dak Prescott was going to be. Um, Wade Wilson was the one who advocated to come saying, I want to get this guy. There's the mailman right there, man. We got a Eddie Trenton, New Jersey man. guy in here, Eagle fan, man. Christmas packages, huh? Yeah, um, I'm heading home now. 